Welcome to our six monthly news update. This one is going to be a bit different because it's July, it's super nice weather outside and I don't want to sit in here recording a video. So I'll take my small camera and give you guys a studio tour about what we've been doing. And also because we have now people from all over the world helping out with the project. It's nice to see them. Okay, so here we have the top of our workspace. This is also the only thing with heating. So in the winter, this area is the best. In summer, it's kind of too hot. Um, it's a good tip for myself. Here we go down. And here we have our good old friend from Mexico. Hello there, my name is Alejandro Luna. Hey. It's Taco. <laughs> and he's currently cooking some Mexican dish. Calabacitas, sí. Excellent, excellent. Here we have Mattia. Hey, Dave. Are you Italian? Italian, yes. What are you working on, Mattia? Uh, right now, a number of things. Uh, well, mainly the website. The website for a new version, version 3, that is going to come out. Sorry, quick break. I use this small camera to record the video and the microphone is actually on top. But I like to hold my camera like this. So every now and then the sound is a bit fucked. Sorry for that. More realistically December I would say, but Dave might be arguing with me <laughs> on that. And that includes a brand new map that we're developing with uh, NZ Chickens and others from, <laughs> from Australia. That's usernames from That's people. That's a username, yeah exactly. And so that's super exciting and useful, we think, for people to connect more on a, on a local base. And then we're going to be able to connect uh, both people that want to get started and people that already have started. And on top of that, we're also working on a very exciting new feature of the new version, which is the marketplace. So we try to We call it Bazaar, right? Bazaar, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's a space where people will be able to exchange products, tools, machines, parts between each other uh, all around the world. So that could really be helping um, fresh plastic scale uh, globally. So that's super cool. On top of that, I... Dude, that's long. I've made sure okay. that everyone here listens to DC, DC music all the time. That's it, that's your thing. All right, cool. Thank you, Mattia. Mm -hmm. Now we go back in this door where the workspace is. So here we have the Fresh Plastic Museum, a bit of a mess, cannot enter, and here we have Sonia from Poland. Hello. Hey, so what are you doing? Uh, I'm about to try the new mold uh, we got today, it's for a plastic bar. Uh, so uh, it's just about to see how many plastic we need for it and how long it should stay in a compression. Excellent. Then we go on to our next one, which is the newest uh, one of our family, is Marta from Spain. Hello. Hey. So, here I am, I'm polishing this uh, PS uh, ball, because uh, PS is the one that can, after molding, be polished, so it she learns shiny quick. And, and nice. And, yeah, that's... Cool. <laughs> Good luck. And here we have Jerry. He's currently making machines for our project in the Maldives. Um, yeah, Jerry, anything you want to say about it? It's going to be strong. <laughs> it's going to be strong. All right, perfect. <laughs> Here we have uh, Bjorn from Iceland, and he's working with bags. Yeah, uh, here are my latest experiments. So, uh, Trying to make something precious out of plastic bags. And currently working on a series of, of bags, tote bag, handbag. Uh, so this is bubble wrap, right? Yeah. And this is my my baby. Your friend. Yeah. All right. Cool. And here we have some wall grips made by Joey from France. He's currently back in France, but he'll be back soon. Um, so that's the workspace. Now we go to uh, Matthijs. Yeah, create closet, you can build it yourself. Matthijs is making some beams with Hi. Hey, plastic. Matthijs from the Netherlands. Um, yeah, what are you doing Matthijs? 
Yeah, so I'm using the extrusion machine for making beams. It's a pretty new technique. We just got like uh, three weeks ago, maybe. And we can make beams from like this size, which I'm making now. But also, so this is super strong, right? Yeah, I'm making a small screw to the concept. But uh, also, we can fill up this whole beam, making this kind of beams pretty long and way longer than a machine. So that's something uh, pretty cool as well. Yeah. So it's like a new technique, we just need to find more applications on what to construct with all these tubes. Yes. But it's cool. Yeah, it is. Give me this camera. Now, Dave, you're going to show us what you've been working on for the past right. couple of weeks. So I've been working on this baby. It's super dark. Uh, the container. Mm, well, basically, you've seen Exciting. it last month's update. So we cut in some holes so we can open it up. And the plan is that people bring their plastic waste, then the machines are inside, and at the end it's being transformed into something new. And this thing is going to be shipped probably to the Maldives at the little islands to work with all the ocean plastic. Uh, yeah. So tell us about that door, because uh, on the internet it looks like no one is really attempting to rise the door vertically. They yeah, usually so do it horizontally. It's and kind of a challenge to do that. Um, because it's kind of heavy, but we managed to get it done with some gas springs and we will share all the blueprints on how to do it with you guys later on as well, so you can do it as well. Um, yeah, so and one other thing to mention is that uh, this month we also went to Baiko. It's a, it's a big store in the Netherlands, like a fancy store. Because on the one hand we're providing people all the tools to recycle plastic, but we also want to show people that plastic is valuable and a resourceful material and not as cheap and disposable. So this is a super fancy shopping mall in the middle of Amsterdam. And we've been asked to make a shopping window in front of the store where they usually display all this fancy stuff. So we brought a lot of precious stuff ourselves. Big bags of plastic waste. And we're gonna put them in this window, so this is backstage. And then here we have Amsterdam with the crew. And here we have our plastic waste. So we made this installation in a big shopping window where on the one hand you see plastic waste and on the other hand you see this precious valuable object which we handcrafted and polished here. Um, to show people plastic is a valuable material. And one thing we're gonna do with that as well is that we're now doing a lot of stuff with people from all over the world here working on plastic. And we're gonna show that all during the Dutch Design Week in October. So mark your agendas. This is why we're gonna have a full exhibition with everything we've done from machines to objects to stuff from the community is the, the main precious plastic exhibition. And we got a super nice space last month as well. We rented out, so I think I'll just Show you guys. This entire space is gonna be ours. It's big, but we also done a lot of things for version three. So see you in October when this is fully equipped with precious plastic. Now that's the news from ours this month, but we also have our community news. So first we have Explora from Italy. They built our machines, but hacked them in a way that they're child proof adding protective layers and covers, teaching kids how to recycle plastic. The guys in Slovakia build a few of our machines, but mostly work with the compression machine. And the things they make are super nice. And this shows that it's not necessarily about making as much machines as you can, but really getting the most out of your own machine. Currently they have a local stand on the market where they sell their plastic items coming to the bazaar. 
And in Durban, in South Africa, they built our shredder. It's always nice seeing plastic being shredded. And finally, we got our first precious plastic workshop set up in China by a hackerspace. They started this to educate Chinese people about plastic recycling and that you can do it. Uh, but now they're also starting to hack the machines and improve them. So for instance, making a bipedal version of our shredder. All right, so that was all our news for July. A lot of stuff is still in development and we're working towards our deadline in October. So bear in mind, October is going to be epic for precious plastic. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a good summer and we'll see you again next month. And also thanks again for supporting. You know, we could have never have done all of this without you. So thanks.